Hey friends, welcome back to Walt Christie World where I talk about all things Disney and do unboxings, talk about Disney pins, that kind of stuff. Um, today I have a stack of pin mail that I'm going to open for you and this stuff dates back to I think around Thanksgiving so we've got lots to go through. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with the one that I'm most excited about, which is from Joe and Kelly over at Young at the Parks. If you're not following them, you probably should because they're great. Um, they mostly do park vlogs, but during all the quarantine and stuff, they did a lot of at-home stuff that was really fun to watch. Um, so, yeah, I just really enjoy watching them. And I don't even remember, I think I, like, messaged them on Instagram and mentioned trading and um we found a trade that we wanted so they sent this really cute olaf postcard very fun and i'm always i'm really bad at, at sending like other things with my pins because i just don't like have a lot of stuff sitting around so i need to get like a i don't know some fun like stickers or something okay i honestly don't even remember what i traded with them but um like what i sent them and, but I got two Tiny Kingdom pins from them, which I'm very grateful for them sending them to me because some people don't like to trade Tiny Kingdom for other things. So, and I don't think I would have traded them Tiny Kingdom because I haven't really had any extras, but super excited about these. So obviously we've got Space Mountain and the Monorail. And um, I don't remember what series these are from because I have only got series one and haven't even gotten boxes from the other ones, obviously. Okay, yeah, it doesn't say what series it's in, so I'll have to look that up um, so I can keep track of what I've got. But I would say it's surely series two or later because I don't remember these being in series one. So, but I could be wrong because I often am. <laughs> but anyway, so check out Young at the Parks. Thank you, Kelly, for that. Um, okay, so... Let's go with this one. This was another trade. Um, this one would have been made through Facebook. And I may have to go get my scissors for this one. Maybe not. Okay. Sometimes the tape is really hard for me to get with just my, my hands. Okay, there's a lot in here. There were a few that I traded like several things. Oh, little gold Mickeys. Um, oh, look at this. It's a Woody sticker. I bet she did that because my last name is Woody. <laughs> so fun. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got some cute Mickey tape. Oh, I love that. See, I could totally buy like Mickey tape or something to use to make my packages cuter. Oh, I remember this one. I bought these. Okay, so this person posted that they were um, paring down their Toy Story collection. And so some, uh, and I told her, I said, I collect Woody. If you have any Woody stuff, send me some pictures. So she had several, um, and she was open to trading, but she didn't see anything in my stuff that she wanted. So she offered to sell them to me. So I bought them. Um, okay, so this first one is, appears to be an older pin because it doesn't have a lot on, of information on the back, but it's a little swinging Woody. <laughs> so cute. This looks like baby soft enamel, um, which is not typical for Disney pins. So I'm wondering if it was like a lounge fly or um, box lunch or something like that. Box lunch does, have, I've seen a lot of soft enamel pins from box lunch. So, um, but super cute. I, for those collections, like I don't really care where they came from. I just like the characters. Um, for the mystery sets, I usually prefer the Disney ones, but I have, I have a few box lunch ones or lounge fly. I don't know. I can't keep all that straight. Um, I'm not a true like Disney pin person, I guess. Um, it's probably a good thing. I don't, if I get more entrenched in it, I'm going to spend way too much money. <laughs> As it is, I spend more than I should. So, um, okay. This, I just cannot get over how cute this tape is. Let's see if I can show it. Um, this this lens doesn't like to focus up close, but maybe you can see it. Isn't that so cute? It's like little cupcakes. Love it, love it. Okay, all right, I'll just stay up here to show you this pen. This is a Sheriff Woody, this little badge. I hope I don't already have that. <laughs> I already have this one. Where's my Woody collection? No, I don't have it. I'm sure I would have checked before I bought it. 
All right, and this one is a has the official pin trading logo. It's 2010, so it's a little bit of an older pin. And it also says Hong Kong Disneyland. Oh yeah, she did tell me this was a Hong Kong one. I remember now. Okay, and then this one is from a um, booster set from they they released a different booster set for each Toy Story movie and I got the Toy Story 4 even though what I really wanted was the one that had Woody in it. I was hoping to trade my booster set for someone else's but I never found anybody that was trading. So I've already traded a couple of the pins from my Toy Story 4 set and just never had found this one. So um, I just went ahead and bought it because I was like well obviously I'm not going to find anybody else trading it. So super excited to have that. All right, I'm trying to stay organized here and put all of my trash in one spot and all of my pins in the other. I think I've already messed up because I don't know what I do with my Tiny Kingdom pins. And they're tiny, oh no. Okay, I'll find them. All right, so this next one is from another YouTuber who actually um, didn't, I didn't know they were YouTubers until I opened this. So, and then I looked them up and I've been watching their channel and it's great. Um, Sarah is the one I traded with. But it, the YouTube channel is Savage Disney Pins. And they have an Instagram and a website. Um, but they had all this cute stuff. And it made me, like, really excited and happy. Um, so there's a little dopey sticker. Super cute. And an Aladdin postcard. And then I got, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the last Country Bear that I need for my collection, for my little Hidden Mickey collection. I have her. I can't even remember her name. I know I should. I, I watch this show all the time. I want to say Trixie, but I feel like that's the big, the big one, the big lady. So I can't remember her name. Okay, I'm going to look it up because that's going to bug me. Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. It's Teddy Barra or Barra. I think it's Barra. Um, so yes, last one I needed. So we have this one, Big Al, Trixie, the bells, little singing, I don't know, the bells, uh, <laughs> uh, Shaker and Liver Lips, I think are the ones, um, that we have, if I'm remembering all of their names right. Obviously not remembering the three. What is the name of them? It has, it's like the, crap, I'm gonna have to look that up too. Hold on. Sunbonnets. Okay, wrong again. Sunbonnets. I knew it was some kind of like flowery type thing. I don't know why that was bells, but isn't a sunbonnet a flower? I don't know. Anyway, they're called the sunbonnets. Okay, so this other pin that I traded with Sarah is from the Flower and Garden Mystery Pin Set. Um, and it is the only, I think there may have been two from that set that I wanted, but um, I can't remember what the other one was. So this one is Dr. Facilier, which you know I have a small Dr. Facilier collection. So I'm excited to have this. I would have probably collected this whole set if I'd been able to go to Flower and Garden um, because I could have bought multiple boxes, but alas, I did not get to go. So i um, glad to have that one. All right, so we have two more packages to open. That one I had actually already opened because um, I was just too excited to see the country bear pin. <laughs> so this one is from Jonathan, and I'm pretty sure this was another Facebook trade. So let's see. Oh, I remember this one. Okay, this guy was so nice because um, he traded me like, he was like, I'll just send you all these Tiny Kingdom pins for, and then he picked out several of mine that he wanted. So it was a great trade. Um, and now I have more Tiny Kingdom pins. And once again, I'm not gonna know what series they came from because I haven't kept up, but sorry. <laughs> I just got frustrated because they were so hard to get a hold of and they came out like super quickly, one after the other. So it was like, even if I could have tried to get a set, I wouldn't have been able to get all of them because they there's like 24 pins in each box. I don't know, it's just ridiculous. I wish they would have done like one a year or something and maybe sold them online because it's impossible to get them if you're not at the parks all the time or pay for them on eBay. But anyway, all right, so I was holding that sideways, sorry. We got the train and little 
neon Mickey. I think that's supposed to be like hub grass or something. It's definitely green grass Mickey. Like, is there a spot where there's a, a Mickey cut into the grass? I don't know. All right, so we've got five of these total. I'll do two more and then show you the last one separately. All right, so we've got the Liberty Bell here and then the horse, um, I don't know, what do you call that, hitch? Hitch post, horse hitch post. So I think this would be from Main Street, if I remember right. And then obviously the Liberty Bell is in um, Frontierland, or sorry, Liberty Square. Gosh, what's wrong with my brain today? It's snowing. That's exciting um, for some people. <laughs> I don't really like snow. I know I'm weird. All right, so this is a car and maybe it's from the Speedway. Maybe it's from something else. Maybe I don't care. Maybe I just want all these pins and I don't really care what they are, but um, yeah, it's a car. It's a red car. Okay, so the last one is from Francis. Let's see what Francis sent me. Also, I forgot, I think this is from the package that Sarah Savage sent me. This has this little crabby Sebastian button. And what she doesn't know is that my husband loves Sebastian. So it was a perfect little gift. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, at the tape on this package. Um, I'm gonna open this and then I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, this one, was definitely a Facebook trade. Oh my gosh, and it, the bubble wrap also has a ton of tape on it. I mean, I'm appreciative of all the tape because it keeps things secure, but it's difficult to open. Oh, yes, I totally forgot about this. Okay, so um, you remember the Haunted Mansion set that I opened and I needed two more. Well, I've traded away both of the pins. Unfortunately, one of the ones I traded I think was one of the ones that the guy who gave me the five tiny kingdom pins wanted. So, um, but the other one I actually traded for another from the same set that I needed. So I got the three gentlemen on each other's back. <laughs> They're in the quicksand, I think, but you can't, well, I guess you can see the quicksand at the bottom of the pin. So we got that to add. And the only one that I need now is the stinking tightrope walker. Um, but I did end up actually purchasing that one on eBay. Um, I'm always a little wary about eBay, but these are so new that I don't think they would have been faked yet. And, um, I also don't like looked through this person's shop and it was all like mystery pins that obviously were doubles that they got that they're selling. So, um, and then other random stuff that wasn't even Disney related. So I felt good about it being a real pin. Um, and that should be here soon i think i was kind of hoping it would be here by the time i did this video but it's not so when that gets here i will have that collection complete so a really good day today for completing collections i got the country bear hidden mickey set done and then this haunted mansion one will be done when i get the other pin um tiny kingdom nowhere near done because <laughs> like i said i only got through series one and i didn't even finish that one so if you see any tiny kingdom boxes lying around let me know. I'll buy them from you. <laughs> um, but anyway, that is all I have today. So I guess um, next week, I don't really have anything super planned, but I'll come up with something um, probably Disney pin related <laughs> and I'll see y'all then. Bye.